Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you some really easy and adorable ways that you can add your own flair to your gifts to make them look kind of fancy, kind of luxurious with very simple supplies where you don't have to go out and buy a single thing, you can just use what you have. Uh, so, to get started, the first one that I wanna show you is this really cute, it's gonna be really easy. So, what you wanna do is you can take any paper that you have. This is handmade cotton rag paper just because it's, I love the deckled edge, but pro tip, you can do this with any type of paper. All you need to do is you wanna make sure that you tear it toward yourself. If you tear it toward yourself, it's gonna create that kind of ripped effect. You're gonna be able to see pieces, that white of the paper where it actually lifts. If you tear away from yourself, it's gonna create a deckled edge, but it's going to have less of an effect. So you can do that with any type of paper. Cardstock would work just fine. So what I did was I went out, and I wish I knew the name of this tree, but this was a big old tree that I found outside last night. And I took one of these pieces off. Um, I took it from the top so it was a lot smaller. And then what you want to do is hole punch two holes here. I had a really small hole punch here, so I ended up actually just kind of making do with what I had. And I went in and just kind of punched around in a circle so I made a big enough hole. I'm telling you guys, work with what you have. Um, and then on the on the flip side, I just thread it through. And this is where you have to be careful because you wanna kind of squeeze the branches together as you pull them through. Otherwise, what's gonna happen or what could happen is that you could tear them off and we wanna keep them intact. So when I get to about here where I see it sticking out and I want it to stick out the other side, I'm going to thread it through the other side like this and I'm going to do the same thing where I'm really careful as they come through. Once they're in there, you probably notice that they are not sitting correctly. They are not nice and flat like this guy. So what I want to do is, do you see these? They're all kind of still funneling. So I want to come to the other side and anything that looks like it's still stuck through, I want to pull out those individual pieces. They're all like kind of tiny branches, if you will. So it looks like there's one more here. So you can see I pulled that one out from the back and then there's one right here. So pull that out and now it's nice and even and it can lay flat and it's beautiful and look at how beautiful it looks on a present. Um, adorable. So this is just twine that I uh, had sitting around. You could use any thread. You could use embroidery string or um, you know ribbon. So yeah, that's the first way that I wanna show you. The second way is even easier. So the second way I grabbed some, just some of these little shrubs, shrubs, tufts uh, off of a tree. And I'll get this out of the way so it's not distracting. Okay, so, um, and that's all I did. I made one hole punch, one single hole punch, and then I just popped it in there. And then you can place that onto a gift like so and just tuck it under that thread and then look at how cute, right? That's all you have to do. Um, for those of you who might be watching this thinking like, oh, my handwriting's not that good, this is not handwriting. <laughs> it is a modern calligraphy brush lettering. So if you wanna know more on that, watch my brush lettering videos. I also have full classes on Skillshare that will take you through all of the stuff that you need to know to make this beautiful lettering. Um, the third gift tag that I wanted to show you is this guy and it's like a little miniature wreath and it's so cute you can do this I had this beautiful ribbon this is actually something that came in something that I had ordered and it included this ribbon and so anytime that happens I'm like oh I'm saving that I'm saving that for a day that I need a beautiful ribbon and to be totally honest with you guys I still haven't used it I just hang it there because I just it's a hand dyed silk ribbon I don't I don't <laughs> want to use it for anything. And so I'm just using it as an example and then I'm taking it off and hanging it right back up <laughs> beautifully. But basically what you want to do with this is I have these long pieces and I was really hoping to find um, a branch last night that was, you know, a little more full, maybe a little shorter pine needles, but you don't always, you can't always find what you're looking for, especially when it's the dark and you just want to leave the house for five minutes and find it. So this is what we came up with. So um, this actually had more branches coming off of it like this and I just took them off and then I had this left over. And so what I did was I just formed it into a circle, like a wreath. This one I ended up doubling up, so basically just wrapping it twice so that it was a little more 
um, it was a little longer than this. So it just was a little more full. So that was a way around it. But what you wanna do is after you wrap it, just tuck it under and then tuck it under again. And then you don't have to tie it off if you don't have string, which is kind of awesome. But I mean, you're gonna want string anyway because you're gonna wanna add your tag. But if you don't have it, you could always thread your tag through this and then just keep it like at the base so that it sticks out, which is really cute. Um, but yeah, from there, I took scissors. Where did I put my scissors? Okay, because it was just like too, too full for me. So I just trimmed about a third of the top off. And then from there, I did the same thing on the inside, but not as, as much but I just wanted it to be a little more obvious. I don't know if you guys hear Lucy snoring. She's <laughs> under my feet and she is snoring right now. Um, okay, so basically that's all that I did. And then I took that ribbon and I just tied it around and tied a little bow. And then I actually took a separate string and just hooked it on um, just a real thin string. I think I have, I had one lying around, but you could even use just embroidery thread to do this, like, cause it can make a really pretty bow. So. Basically, I would just cut, I'll probably end up trimming that even more, but um, it still looks nice even without the fancy ribbon. So just go in, you might wrap it a few times, but or you could just tie a knot if you are impatient and lazy like me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and tie a regular knot and then do a little loop-de-loo, make my bow like so and then i can cut this part this part oops oh my goodness these are not fabric scissors clearly um and then at that point see that's really cute too and then i can hang my gift card from it or my or excuse me my tag and my tag could hang like right there and then look at how cute when it's attached to your gift so if you can visualize that it looks like I have I'll take this out if you can visualize that if it was hooked on or you could even have it from the back so it's kind of like a peekaboo or have it loose like mine where I ended up putting this one on the bottom um, instead of the top but loose like mine so it kind of drapes over the gift so just really fun cute ideas that I think will spruce up your gifting and then another one last way that I also did um, this one is strictly calligraphy so it's not crafty uh, so you would want to take you know just a quick lesson on faux calligraphy I've got a full class on you know faux calligraphy where you don't actually have to know how to do this <laughs> but you can fake it um, on Skillshare I put the link below um, but you can also check out my other lettering videos. But yeah, like this one, what I ended up doing was I kind of just drew in with this marker here. And you can see it, it writes uh, beautifully, like the gold shows up really, really well. And then it catches light really nicely. This one I didn't end up doing any of the drip. I just wanted to see what it would look like with just the name. And then I can slide this in. And then if you want to add just a little extra accent, this could be just paper too, but just to add a little accent, you can pull one of these guys in there so that they just look kind of like a nice complete package. Um, also looks cute with this guy. So yeah, just a little way to spruce up your gifts. You guys do me a favor, if you like this video, you wanna see some more fun random tutorials all the time, I've got them. Visit the uh, pigeonletters.com, get your freebies, I got downloads all the time. And in the meantime, have fun making your gift tags.